hello guys today i am going to explain the cross site scripting vulnerabilities which is reflected xss our agenda is to solve these labs without seeing the solution from this uh, given lab so we will closely look how these javascript bugs came into the applications so we are going to ex explain each and every step and uh, in this series of uh, javascript for bug bounty hunters and hackers i will and touch all of these client side vulnerabilities if you are interested to know these client side vulnerabilities so you should to definitely check out this playlist so my name is Elias. I am a JavaScript developer and a bug bounty hunter also I am a JavaScript extremist I also build websites regarding the JavaScript only so here comes the first step so we are going to explore the reflected xss vulnerability if you are not familiar with the reflected xss vulnerability so you should to definitely check it out here you can type xss reflected xss you will get the best resource from the portswigger.net if you are not familiar with what is xss xss mean cross site scripting and reflected xss is also a type of this xss i have already made a video regarding these xss vulnerabilities i will link this video in the description so you should to check this blog post as well because this is the awesome resource and a very exclusive blog i have ever seen in the bug bounty space we are going to solve this reflected xss into html context with nothing encoded okay so access the lab here is the lab so first we are going to read this little explanation this lab contains a simple reflected cross-site scripting vulnerability in search functionality solve this lab perform a cross-site scripting attack that now we are going to see where is first we are going to type the test and hit the search because as we know that the xss vulnerabilities always arise in the input box specifically here is the search box so now i have tapped uh, test so you can see that it is reflected in the dom if we are going to check you know the dom of this so here is the code it is injecting this test into a an ht an h1 tag which is inside this uh, section which is inside this section element so here i am going to type first of all the script command scr ipt script alert xss so we are going to test this basic script alert xss but this will not work because uh, there are many filters also you can see that in this uh, dom of the page to do, do is we are going to take a look at this take a look in the dom doms uh, you know code why it is going to be reflected and why not so first we are going to see search blog name equals search here is a param you can see that clearly name is equal to search this input this input is taking this parameter search it is as it is reflecting you know our script at there and there is no uni or html encoding so you can see that this is pretty clear that there is no encoding of our payload this can cause the javascript xss vulnerability we should to escape from these tactics or commas or whatever you can call it so we should to escape from these and after that we will successfully inject our code so what we are going to do is we are going to use comma and after this slash and i am going to use an advanced payload which is img src equals x on error this will give us an alert what would be the alert probably the xss so now we are going to execute this so you can see that we have successfully injected our malicious image tag which is this like uh, the server is saying that we, uh, the image is not found because this is broken we haven't used any image but we can inject any image at, the, at this place for example here I am going to again specify this image tag but with another now I am going to take uh, an image 
of flower from the google so i will pop up at uh, there as well link and after this we are going to inject the image url at here and upon searching so you can see that we have clearly embedded an image this means that access vulnerability exists but we are not successfully giving a pop up so that's the problem that's the big problem because we have to solve this at any cost we have to give an pop up so that we can solve this lab this is not solved yet so what we are going to do we have we are going to explore the further access payloads i have given the reflected so i am going to remove this and hit enter so you can see that this is the cross site scripting vulnerability payload list this is a very a very very exclusive you know javascript payloads so we are going to check these one by one i hope this can you know give the pop up because this is a more advanced payload so now i am going to type here and hit enter so you can see that here is our majestic pop up after clicking okay you can see that we have solved the lab so this was the, the first video from the javascript for hackers series so if you are like this video or learn something new make sure to subscribe 